God is still saying something. During a recent Sunday service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua called upon the nation of Nigeria to pray and fast for their country, especially for those who were about to fly, adding the airports should also check their aircraft. Pray and fast for your country. I'm talking to Nigeria people. And those of us that enter the aircraft within this country, pray and fast. If you're joining within Nigeria to fly all over within Nigeria, I want you to fast and pray. As I'm talking to every station, airport, that you make sure they check their aircraft and make sure everything is in order. I will continue to pray for them. These are the stories and reports that we're tracking at this hour. The nation is in mourning today after 153 people died aboard a Dana Airline Flight 0992 from Abuja, which crashed at the Ju Ishaga area in Lagos, Nigeria's southwest region. Among those who died in the crash were the Group General Manager of Public Affairs of the NNBC, Dr. Olivia Jonama, Mr. Hime Akomo, who was the first son of former military vice president, the late Admiral Augustus Akomo, Mr. John Ahmadu, a retired Deputy Inspector General of Police, and Lieutenant Colonel Jumbo Ochibo. The Donald Croft, a Boeing McDowell Douglas MD-83 with registration number 5NRAM, operated by Dana Airlines Limited, crashed barely five minutes to touchdown at the Mutala Mohammed Airport, Ikeja, Lagos. A huge plume of smoke hovers over their environment on the heels of a massive metallic impact out of the sky. It's a McDowell Douglas 83 aircraft owned by Dana Airlines, flight 0992, which took off from Abuja. Destination, Murtala Mohammed Airport, Lagos. Tragically, the plane does not just miss the runway, it literally tumbles far short of it, leaving carnage in its wake. At this time, as I speak to you, no survivor has been found. May their soul rest in peace. We pray that their families will have the strength to bear this huge loss. The federal government of Nigeria will institute a very, very thorough investigation to find out exactly what happened and to ensure we don't have the occurrence of this ever, ever again. Now, a staff of Dana Airlines operators of the ill-fated Dana Flight 0992 that crashed in Lagos yesterday, with killing all 153 passengers aboard, has been speaking to our correspondent, DJ by the mercy about the condition of the aircraft. Here's what she said. That aircraft had always been giving faults from time. And um, personally, I have had a colleague that flew with that aircraft to um, Abuja. And when the aircraft got there, it got spoiled. So they couldn't bring it back. They had to leave it there, fix it, then send another set of people to go there and then bring it back. And they actually loaded passengers to bring it back. When you say another set, you mean another crew, right? Yes, another set of crew. Mm. Okay. There, was, there was another another instance of when it went to Uyo. Okay. It went to Uyo, and then it plugged forth there, and it took them another five, six hours to fix it. And then after they fixed it, they still used it on a complete trip. When I say complete trip, they didn't come back straight to Lagos. Mm. They took it from Uyo to Abuja. Abuja, they came back to Uyo. They went back to Abuja before coming back to, to Lagos. To Lagos. Yes. Mm. The, even the, yesterday, before mm. the thing crashed, it was not supposed to leave Lagos at all. Because there are regulations that, um, that say that aircraft should be checked and then engineers should... Um, 
the sugar it is fit mm. to slice. And then that day, it was uh, yes, they, they, it, it was um, proved that it was not fit to take off on that journey at all. Mm. The station manager also said it, that it shouldn't go on that journey, but the management said they should use it for that trip. A staff of Dana Airlines operators of the ill-fated Dana Flight 0992 that crashed in Lagos on Sunday, killing all 153 passengers on board, speaking with our correspondent, Deji Badamose. Meanwhile, Dana Airline has issued a statement denying the ill-fated plane had the problem. The management of the company says the aircraft had no problems at all and that it is too early to tell what caused the crash. The company also says it will pay the stipulated compensation to families of the deceased.